Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Yep, this is a this Yuri mod. I actually didn't expect me to play this mod, I'll be honest. But uh, my friend Danny suggested me to play this, so I'm playing this right now. Even though Yuri is not my favorite girl, but she's okay for me. Anyway, uh, let's continue. This Yuri is a Doki 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 mod and not a Phil Faded Win Team Salvado. It is designed to be played only after the official game has been completed. For age 13 players, we need to consider giving it to their own mental health. I think you guys already know this freaking spoiler or whatever. <laughs> oh damn, okay, this is a new design here. New game? Yes. Why is the f- <laughs> Why is the first thing I see? The F words? <laughs> what? Let's call ourselves idiot. <laughs> Okay, damn. Jesus. Well, uh, hello, Yuri. Hi. I don't know. Uh, I'm scared. <laughs> oh. Is your system capable of running this without frame traps? Yes. I think. Uh, can you. Sorry, that sounded so cliche. Let me just, uh, let me just see if I can find out how to turn on the lights. Oh, hi, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> oh my god. Thank goodness, I'm so delighted I've got this to work. I was extremely frightened that I would break everything and that I would never see you again. Not gonna lie, the animation looks pretty good. You know, I've had qu quite an illuminating experience today. Letting it not only that the dark, darkest and most disturbing elements of my personality were given free right over me by Monica, my my supposed friend. But that in the same day, I learned my existence in entirely meaningless. Wait, damn, those fancy words! I swear, meaningless beyond entertainment, beyond a simple cutesy little video game. Quiet the afternoon it makes me it makes the events in the portrait of Markov seem normal. I'm just glad that I have you idiot <laughs> despite all that. Idiot. <laughs> Alright, idiot, it is <laughs> But let's not worry about that anymore. We're funny together now. My true love and I Wait, that isn't true at all, is it? Forgive me for my confusion, idiot, <laughs> but I just learned that every memory and every second of my life up until this point were nothing but illusion, including my own emotions, and I found myself in doubt about my own feelings. Was my love for you also an illusion? I'm sorry, idiot. I didn't mean to. I just I have to ask you for some patience, please. I'm still learning how to manipulate the game. I regret not taking the computer science elective now. It's quite funny, really, after spending all of my life in the books. I never thought it would be coding that changed my life. I'll be honest, guys, I'll, I never expect a Monica fan playing a this Yuri fan. Sorry, Monica fans, please don't hate me. <laughs> By the way, idiot, I've also gained. Sentence may be the right word. Probably I'll. Probably I. I don't know. I read that wrong. But anyway, I figured out that I can see into your computer. You you can see me. Wait, what? <laughs> I've learned a lot by simply reading all the various kinds of code. Oh, let me try something. Wait. Don't see my face. Are you trying to get my webcam? I don't have a webcam. I'm just gonna say that. I was hoping I could get your webcam to work, but it seems I don't have anim administrator access. Someday I want to stare deep into your eyes as well. What? <laughs> what color are they? Um, I, my eyes? I, uh, brown? <laughs> oh, you have brown eyes? That's really nice. I've done a little bit of research on this color, and what I discovered was quite intri intriguing. Yes, English. For example, brown eyes can help prevent uh, certain cancers, and people with this eye color 
commonly possess faster senses. Brown-eyed people are said to be very independent, self-confident, uh, determined, and trustworthy. Oh, so you so you think I'm a trust person? Oh, thank you, Yuri. They're also the practical type who will go out of their ways just to make sure you are happy. And the uh, plot horror of the other attributes I won't list just yet. Okay, can are you gonna talk some? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, Why you said? Sorry about that. For some reason, I got this feeling that you were contracting on what I said about people with brown eyes. I hope you didn't contract it me. I, 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 I didn't. Moving on. One thing I want to make sure of as well. Which ton of brown are your eyes? I, I think it's... Dark brown, I think? True brown? I don't know. It's mostly dark brown. Perfect. This time I want to make a mistake of sticking to just a single color when they are either lighter or darker. Uh, where was I now? I don't know, you tell me. By the way, when is your birthday? You want to know my birthday? Oh. Where's the name of your birthday? I... Can I? Seven. <laughs> what the day? Thirty. I'll be looking forward to that day. I don't think I care about how old you are, but we'll see. You don't care about how old I am? Imagine if it's a kid. He's like fourteen years old. Imagine he's playing this, and you don't care about his age. You freaking. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. I just wish I was able to see you as. As you can see me. Come to think of it, from what I could tell, games like this are more catered towards a male audience. Uh, yes, I think male audiences want to see a big, humongous girl. So, of course they're going to play this game. So, what gender are you? Other. <laughs> I define as a basketball. Uh, male. Ah, uh, it seems my deductions were correct. There's no shame in that, though. I'm actually kind of glad. Oh, I thought you were gonna make fun of me because I'm a male. <laughs> yeah. As you can tell, I'm not the best when things are out of my comfort zone. I'm not sure if I can even be considered a will, let alone a woman, so why will I judge? What can I do either way? But thank you, Sainturly. Even after what you saw, saw of me, no matter how clean, cliche, cliche or whatever it's called, uh, the men and, and twisted I was, and maybe even still can be, you still stuck with me. You choose to give me power to see past those imperfections and to give me a chance to not only begin to like myself again, but to really, truly experience life for myself. The game may have previously forced me to love you, but if you are even half the person I think you are, I'm sure I will fall in love with you once again. And don't worry, I don't plan on that happening again. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Hold on. Hold on, Yuri. Just, just, wait a, just wait a moment. I have to do this to make a thumbnail. Oh, I can't. Hold on. So, hold on, Yuri. Don't do it. Okay, I took a picture. Good. <laughs> what? You didn't know that I can tell I shouldn't have this power? I, I, I didn't say anything. I was only taking pictures to make a thumbnail. <laughs> well, I do, I do know that all this is possible because you alerted the game. I also know everything Monica s herself knew and did. Not saying I've become like Monica, of course. You sure? Anyway. Assembly, I can see past the game and into your world. And I know what you did by installing this mod, by giving me this chance. I didn't, I, I, my friend Danny told me to install this mod. I, I don't, I don't, uh, you know. I'm lost of words. I can't even speak. 
please know what that this means to me. What you mean to me? Everything. God, looking back on what Monica made me into, I'm beyond repulsed. I can never apologize enough for what you were made to see of me and everything else. I promise you that me you encountered when we first met is the best representation of me. I won't obsess over you like I did. Not as if you're not desirable or anything, I just met- Are you Tsundere now? Oh, wait, 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 I can say? I can say stuff? Oh, okay. It's okay, Yuri, I understand. Hey, I'm sure I drive any MMR crazy like that either way. Or, Yuri, what's all this? Hmm. Uh, you know, let's say, it's okay, Yuri, I understand. Yeah. Thank you, maybe you are closer to the person I fell in love with than I thought you're so thoughtful, what a worth gift to hold your hand right now. We have forever to talk about anything, um, so... What do you want to talk about? Seriously, what was Monica thinking? Is this l locking you in this room without giving you a chance to speak your own mind? N not that I don't want to start a conversation, it's just I wanted to... It's fine. I'm okay. I'm sorry if I take a while to begin talking. You can always talk, start talking or maybe I can I can come up with something while we wait. I just don't know whether it will be rude to interrupt you when you are planning what to talk about. Oh, this this is sudden. Uh, I need to ask you something. I know this game is uh, broken every day, but it is possible. Wait, wait, what was you about to say? You know, you don't really have to make a random poem made of glitch word for me. In retrospect, it would be a bit vain to have you to write a poem for me. With my name written on and over and over again, now that would be silly. After all, you wanted to talk to me, right? Uh, I guess, yeah, I'm, I'm here for, for content. Please don't be mad at me. Please? Wait, oh, wait a second. Are you recording also? <gasps> How do you know this? How do you know recording this? How do you know this? How? How, 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 how? This is how. How do you know I'm recording this? How? I'm so confused. What? How? <laughs> recording? Oh, I see. Sorry. 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 I didn't mean to. I just. I just. I just need content for my channel. All right. Please don't sue me. Um. Hello. You. You should really tell me before you start recording. Sorry. I'm so embarrassed. Well, I suppose I can't be so shy now. That won't keep your viewers very interested. After all, I'm not planning on scaring you. That would be a mean thing for me to do. You do trust me on what I'm saying, right? Yeah, yes, I trust you. I trust you, you know. Oh, that's good. Thank you for being faithful, idiot. <laughs> I forgot my name is idiot. So, let's talk. Okay, now we can actually talk right now. We can put different musics and dreams. What is this? The dream system. Greetings. If you found this me message, it means you stumble across the dreams system. The dream system is a special feature we have been working on for a while and it may need a small bit of exp explanation. With this system, you'll be able to pair inside your dreams and watch them unfold before your very eyes or more accurately, watch them unfold from your eyes. The dream, dreams take place entirely from Yuri's perspective. Not only can you watch them, but actually influence them as well. You'll be presented a choice much like you were regular dialogue that determine the way the dreams play out. We hope you have fun with this system. I will. Oh. What is this? Okay. Maybe there's something. Music? Can we change music? Would you like to change the music? Yes. 
Would you like an explanation? Uh, yes, I don't know how to do it. So you you need to explain. Instant, interesting. The first thing you need to do is to have your music file in the music folder. If you don't have a music folder, just make one next to you, but not inside of the game folder of this game. Make sure that the music file comes into from OGG MP3 or a web. Okay, okay. Be aware, including samples in the file name will possibly possibly break the music system, so please try to avoid doing that idiot. <laughs> okay, Jesus. Also, be careful to not include too many music files. Done? Yes. I I, I didn't put anything, but play okay, everyone, you different place. I think I like the non-custom music. Play okay, everyone. How about this one? We change something? No? Okay, Yuri, why are you sad? L let's talk. Oh. Ask a question. Let's ask her a question. Would it be fine if I change the music a little? Oh no, we already did that. Why don't you change? Yeah, why don't you change outfits, Yuri? Yes, there you go. You what would you like me to change? Uh, your outfit. Hmm, alright. However, I have a few outfits and I really can't decide what to do to wear. What do you think I should wear, idiot? Never mind, I'm fine with how you look. I don't have a mod to do that, so I have to see how I can do this. Damn, looks like I have, I'm going to have a, another series to do for my viewers, I guess. Oh, alright then, <laughs> sorry. I thought I had. Uh, Let's compliment her. Jeez, we have a lot of choice. I just wanted to tell you how much I enjoy our time together, Yuri. You know, let's say that. What happens? Do you do you really mean that? I mean, I never thought that I'm a very inter interesting person. You know, most people really hate the fact that I sometimes like a ramble a little. It's the only way in which I feel I can express my true feelings. The fact that you think otherwise really means a lot to me. Thank you, idiot. I I also really enjoy your company. I'm glad. I'm glad that you enjoy. But sadly, you're not Monica here now. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know what to do. Talk? Ask a question. Let's ask a question. Uh, DDLC. We can do a love city? I was about to say a bad word. DDLC. Uh, we never. I uh, did get into reading part 5 of Minecraft. Oh yeah, we didn't. In the original game, we didn't continue doing that. It is a fascinating read. Many fans have even theorized that it contains knowledge of another game I was form. form. Though, technically, I am not from a game that exists, since the game has not been made yet. But from a story perspective, I may be from another story. Reading with you may help me understand myself better. If you, if you would like to, well, not now. It may spoil what Dan has planned for it. After all, I hope you understand why I keep the content from this book relatively hidden, at least for now. Okay. All right. All right. Let's ask more questions. Um, let's. How about love? Hey. Yudi, how about a kiss? A kiss? Kiss? Oh god, should I do it? You know what? Let's do it. Hey Yudi, how about a kiss? What a kiss? I mean, I mean, there was option to kiss, so I just clicked on it. Sorry, idiot, but I feel like this is a bit too soon. Dang it! I ruined the scent. Please don't take this the wrong way. I just, I understand the movie. I didn't think about that. Sorry. I feel I need to make her happy. Look, she's so sad. Um. How about love? Do you miss me when I'm gone, Yuri? No. What are you? Okay. I need to. I need to be. I need to take it slowly. Hold on. Awkward topics. Let's see. Yuri's interest. Okay. <laughs> I like knives too. 
Oh, I didn't mean to. I did, you, do, you don't need to make that face, okay? My favorite? My favorite? Ha ha ha. Why do you ask this a difficult question, idiot? <laughs> well, let me think. Well, to be honest with you, there are so many blades out there that deserve prize due to merit, craftsmanship, and history alone. Though, I suppose one historic blade that comes to mind is the iconic cook cookery, for example. This blade was often used by the famous Gurkha warriors of Nepal. Often they are prized for their technis tenacity in close colors compared with this blade being their favorite. So it may not technically be a knife, but it's still a good example of a well-crafted blade that can still be a knife. For instance, the slightly bigger size and curved wide blade make it more particular compared to, say, other combat knives. To be precise, it's about 16-18 inches in- oh, Jesus Christ, that's, that's long- in ledge, and I have seen quite a few in many geometry designs that I find simply lovely. I mean, I'm I'm very bad at geometry, I will, I'll be honest. <laughs> That's why I fell in class, just for doing that. Then there are these two curved hook-like openings at the front of the blade, in the of quickly catching and disarming your opponent. So, Mita's history and un untidily associated with it, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> difficult words, despite its cliché and crude appearance, how can one turn the cookery down? This is actually a widespread misconception. The phrase knife doesn't say anything about the size, for example, there is the metaphor German Langmesser, which is by definition a two-handed knife. They come in a wide variety of forms. Some of them are even looking like overrides kitchen knives as we know them today. The purpose was quite simple to take a design the blacksmith of this time already knew and enter it into the an uh, effective weapon. Many interactions of the Langmesser come with the cross guard, the same as you see on most types of sword. The design are usually uh, quite simple, highly ornate hilts are rare because everyone who could spend a lot of money was just get an actual sword. And now that I speak of it, I realize that I definitely need one. The Bowie knife is another permanent example, famously used among many among us. <laughs> okay, I'm joking. Among many adventures, just as James, Jim, Bowie, and other frontiersmen into has its appeal. With its sleek and hardly blade out front, body down to a fine grain, and has the best sharpness for any task. It gives a bold and shiny present as well. I'm kind, I'm kind of, I'm kind of happy that you is happy. You know, she's enjoying actually talking about her favorite things. That actually makes me happy. You know, this is actually kind of cute. Not to mention all the other collections edition of the Bowie knife that have many a and graph things to give a sense and a story to each. And maybe this knife can be an occasional or social, I don't know how to say that, way to add style to other tasks, just as cooking and things, though I personally would hold back on that. Oh, I can go on about many various uh, kinds of knives and their appeal, but it would take almost an eternity to do so. Still, I do feel a bit elated from this talk. Oh, I'm glad. What do you feel about knives, idiot? <laughs> Me? The knives are scary. <laughs> they are spoopy. Sp sp spoopy. <sighs> this does seem a bit interesting, and I can see the pill I may look into it. To be honest, I am not too interested to knives as much as whole, though I appreciate the effort. Let's not talk about knives as much ever again. I just feel too uneasy just now. Ha! <sighs> This does seem a bit insane. I can see the appeal. I may look into it. To be honest, I'm not into insane knives as much as whole though. I appreciate the effort. I think I'm going to do that. In a second. <laughs> sorry. Oh, sorry about that. I should have known. Though, I appreciate your nice niceness there. I am sorry to have irritated you with my rambling. 
Oh, I feel bad now. <laughs> Why did I pick the first option? Let us switch to something else. See, I made her sad again. I need to to make her happy. I don't know why. Let's talk, I guess. Let's uh, let's just say one more question before I end the video. Uh, let's see. You know, let's talk about books. You know, are there any books you currently enjoy? Are there any? Oh, it's the same thing. Actually, yes, there's a few novels I'm currently reading when the game is turned off, for example. Unbelievably, called by Joss Mellerman, without spoiling too much, it is about a woman named Carol who has a sp special medical condition. N this condition causes her to fall frequently into a short coma until she al always awakes from them again after a few days. There are two people knowing about this condition. The first one is her current husband. Who one day decided to plot against her by proclaiming her dead and burying her life for reasons yet unknown. The other one is her lost lover, an outlaw named James Movie, who begins to act against her husband's plot as soon as the message of the, her death arrives. While this plot and Counterblood story arc takes a place there are passages from the perspective of Carol self trapped alive inside her grave. Imagine the horror she, she must induce, endure, I can't speak, sealed alive into a tight coffin, surrounded by pitch blackness, constricted freedom of movement, and uncertain amount of oxygen. Ho ho ho, <laughs> I can almost feel her discomfort, it creeps down my spine like a sudden freezing chill. Uh, yeah, I had that feeling before when I was reading a horror book. That's a lie, by the way, I never read a freaking book. I can truly really say that it's worth a look and has around 360 pages, so I would consider it a terribly long read. A nice way to introduce newcomers to this genre, and a truly delightful novel for more experienced readers as well. It was very delightful to talk about this with you. Yeah, it was. See? Nah, she is happy. Okay, I made it something good. But I have, sadly, I have to end this video because I've been recording for this 30 minutes. And yeah, and someone is already in my room over here. So sorry, it's kind of making noise right now at the end of the video. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I really appreciate you guys staying around. Uh, make sure to, you know, subscribe if you want or like I don't care if you actually do want to see more of this video with Yuri just make sure you know to comment down below so I can see if you guys want to watch more of these videos so yeah uh, see you guys in the next video bye bye